How's it going everybody? It's me Shane and I'm here to give you another Digimon Ghost Game episode review and recap. Today's episode is episode 29. We're so close to episode 30. It's entitled Monster Pollen. I gotta say, I'm, I'm gonna do a little spoiler of the spoiler. Yeah, so person, you gave me a thumbs down last time, so maybe this will make you happy. And I'm not placating you this, I'm actually pretty happy. But you know what else would make me happy if you guys would give me a like, comment. I especially would like you to comment if you disagree with me, think I got something wrong, correct me on something. Legitimately, if you're going to thumbs down it, at least express yourself, right? Even if you don't like how all of this looks, speak your mind. But on top of that, I also need you to give me a subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified of more videos just like this. Engagement is the name of the game, and this episode was very engaging. So, uh, you show, aren't you guys happy I don't complain about the intro? We're showing the same old hologram ghost. I am actually happy too. So, there's a large, not a large green cloud. That's not first. First, we have Jellymon. Looking at bags, asking Kiyoshiro if it, if it looked good on her. She's zipping here and there. She is not in the digital invisible form that only people with the bands can see. She is in physical form and like he's like, yo, st stop. But on top of the building, just pssst, it's this green stuff. Just this green stuff coming down. Some people on the outside can smell it. They're like, man, that smells foul. I think... There's some irony in this episode being about monster pollen, and I have seasonal allergies, and yeah, too much rain where I am. Anyway, um, he pulls her to the side and tries to tell her, don't run around because you can cause way too much attention. And then there's this crying child. Now, you want to know what's funny? This crying child does not look like any other child I've ever seen in this series. She has the fat face and the dumpling dumpling cheek fix she looks just like that she looks like what what comic is that is it the old strawberry shortcake comics that were in the uh in the newspapers you know how sometimes people draw those faces giant head and the jet ja that does not look right i won't show that giant face with you know jowls and everything like that ignore that first kind of like kind of like that it looks just like that um, but she's crying, and he's asked her, well, hey, what's your name? And initially, uh, Jellymon was like, hey, you know, answer us, and he tells her, yo, this is a kid, calm down. Her name is Yuna Matsuzawa. Surprised I was able to get that right on the first try. When she sees him, she's like, oh, genius, and he's like, genius? And, uh, he's like, you mean from... Uh, the cat, uh, the academic genius from a cat, uh, academic busters. I'm trying not to say academia because my hero academia or uh, little witch academia is actually how you're supposed to say it, yeah. But anyway, it's not academia, it's academia. But anyway, <clears throat> it's a popular child's anime in the morning, morning child's anime. And she pulls out her figure of the genius character. Looks just like him. Gray hair. More or less gray hair. And uh, she asks him. She said, hey, Henshin. He's like, I can't do that. But you know, on the intercom, the doom, doom, doom. Hey, there's a lot of fog outside. So you're going to have to ask everyone to stay inside until it clears. <clears throat> and I love how they don't elaborate because it's a lot more than just fog. They don't even say it's green fog. They just tell him it's fog. And um, there are robot holograms that are going back and forth. People are outside of the doors and they're just looking out at this green fog. But <clears throat> I didn't mention earlier that in the bathroom, a woman was applying lipstick and a spider jumps on her shoulders, bites her, screams, and we don't know what happens from there. But then again, there's another woman who's inside of a dressing room. She gets bitten and faints. Now, outside of this green, in this green fog, outside of these glass doors, man, this businessman, I, I, I have to hurry and I have to leave. So as he gets out there, he sees all these people laying on the floor. Then he <coughs> coughs up fire, 
starts breathing it in and falls out to the ground. All the people are like, we cannot go out there. No, you cannot. So, uh, little girl Yuna is calling Jelly Mon Squishy. It's pretty cute. They're making their way through, and uh, Kira Shiro's like, we got to get her to, you know, the security. Probably where her mom's waiting for. We're going to get her up to the sixth floor. So, they get on the elevator, and another tiny spider, this one drops on his shoulder. He smacks it, and he recognizes. He's like, isn't that that thing from the, when we were at that building before? It looks like Dokugumon. And I love the Jellymon. She, we don't need Angoramon around, right? Goes close, but it's different. Oop, wrong Digimon. Oop, wrong Digimon. It is called Kodokugumon. Dokugumon. And here it is. Kodo... Yeah. Kodo... Kodokugumon. Like, Dokugumon. Now, I'm going to tell you the joke in this name. Uh, Kodomo, that's usually child or kid... Funny thing is, there's two versions of Kodu Dokugumon. If I could... Like, there's an in-training form that looks more like Dokugumon, and then there's this uh, rookie child form. Now, let's read about this thing, right? A child Digimon with the appearance of a spider that behaves in clusters with Dokugumon. It is usually docile and hangs from things such as tree branches with its body curled up in a ball, but if an enemy approaches, it attacks en masse from overhead. It wears gloves with strong poison on the claws because it's unable to produce a poison strong enough of its own yet. Its special move is scratching the enemy with poison claw gloves. Now, there is a this is the first time we're ever seeing this. I think they just made this guy, and I find it interesting that Dokugumon has his own line now. We got the it has a in training rookie champion, and I'm going to assume they become Arukenimon. Crazy that spiders in this universe of the Digimon. Uh, world with ghost game. Crazy that the spiders are the ones that are just insane a holes. But yes, uh, this this thing. Once they smack it off, it's digging its nails into the into the uh, side panel of the elevator, causing deep poison to come through it. And even Jellymon's like, they're not supposed to be able to make their own poison. Uh, she's able to defend both Yuna. And Kiyoshiro then crawls back up to the ceiling in a hole. <clears throat> Where am I at here? Uh, nope. So the poison melts things, right? This was a little bit. So what happened in the episode is similar to the encyclopedia because it says they can't make it, so they wear the gloves. But where does it come from, right? Well. They get out and he says, "Oh, we gotta run. We gotta get out of here. If all there could be more of these things." He's like, "Ah." Oh, we can't go outside because of what the announcement. And then he's like, I'll call the others. Pulls out his flip phone that is a 7G phone. This is in the far future of whatever Digimon universe this is. But there's no signal. So they are on floor four. Jellymon's telling him don't panic because he might make Yuna panic. And Yuna's like, genius, will I see my mom? He's like, of course you will. You will see your mama. But they got to move because there may be more Dokugumon and... They're going to take the stairs. They can defend themselves a lot better on escalators and stuff like that. And Jelly Mom was like, well, we could go to the rock field. But then when she looks to her right, there are two passed out humans. So she's like, can't leave Yuna here. So going up, it is. Meanwhile, Shinjuku, and I love that Shinjuku seems to be a just a focal point. It is a point of, uh, of interest in all the Digimon. Whether it's seasons one and two, whether it's the season three universe with, I'm sorry, Digimon Adventure 0102, Tamers. It's pretty interesting. Even in uh, Digimon Frontier, the Shinjuku seemed to be like, it's a, it's a name in Doctor Who. I can't remember the name. Like, there's a point in time where everything seems to gather around. And that's, Shinjuku seems to be that place, doesn't it? <clears throat> I wonder if, uh, I'm, I should do some looking up of history of Shinjuku. Maybe there's some supernatural stuff about it. But I digress. The air is closed off. Here on Garamon on outside, there's green fog everywhere. The cops are keeping people in. And Ruli calls him. She's up, up high in a building. They can see all this fog over there. And Angoramon is in his semi-translucent form. He's like, I'm going to fly over and see what's going on. So they can't get in contact with Kirishiro. Yeah. But now we're back in the building and on floor five, another guy gets bitten, but he's getting bite 
been all over. Once they get there and they they open up the door, they the spiders are like feeding off of the people, and they have just all this green stuff on them. It looks like they've been poisoned, um, and they're just creeping. They they they've creeped up a little bit to see what's going on. Now, Kirishiro, that once they all turn and look at them because the Kodo Kodo Dokugumon are growing as they're feeding. And he faints. He gets the integer overflow. Which is... It's interesting about that thing. Because whenever he has those... Something crazy happens between him and his partner Digimon. So... He faints. Wakes up and he's in cool guy mode. One is trying to attack him. He kicks it. Runs it. It slams into the others. Picks up Yuna and they, they book it. Right? They're trying to figure out what's going on. And uh, Jellymon is using her BB Thunder, just getting rid of the ones that are all around them. And I noticed this before it was brought up, but they seem to be going back through the vents. They seem to all be retreating up. Even the massive ones. The massive ones are after him and Yuna. Because he says, yeah, they're feeding off of people. They're trying to get to us. And one slices his arm, the non-bandage arm of all arms. And, you know, his arm's starting to turn a little bit green, but they haven't noticed it yet. And they're asking if he's okay. And he's like, yeah, no, no, I'm good. But now it's evolution time. We get Tesla Jellymon. She's using her Pashune attack to just get rid of all of them. And they're retreating. They're all just going up. And they're constantly checking up on them. Now, Angoramon is flying around that area. And two plant-like tentacles just shoot up at him. He's like, I knew it was a Digimon. It's like, well, no shit, it's a Digimon. Everything that's happened here has been a Digimon. There's not been one incident... Within this whole time period, that's been like, oh man, this is weird thing going on. Huh, I guess it's just a weird thing. No, it's all Digimon. All the time. Anywho, Kirishiro's arm is growing green. Uh, Tesla Jellymon says he should wrap it, but he's like, eh, don't know if that's going to actually do more harm than, than good because we don't know what kind of poison it is, right? Because you said they can't make their own, so... What are we going to do? Now, they're having this conversation on the sixth floor in security. Everybody knocked out. And uh, Yuna's mom is not there. She's just, she's worried she's not going to see her mom or meet up with her. Um, get my mad here. So, they got to produce their own an antidote. Don't know how you're going to do that. How are you going to get to Mummy Mon? How are you going to get enough to save everybody, actually? Mm. Uh, so... She says, you know, the scary things, they're coming, you know, they come from the ceiling and they keep running back. And he's like, say it? Wait, what are you saying? And she's explaining, you know, they keep coming from down, from above to attack them and they retreat back there. And he's like, you're actually right. We got to get to the roof. <clears throat> the crew are now in the underground. I was literally about to say an underground railroad. Hmm. So coincidental, given Juneteenth is next week. But yeah, uh, they're in this old railway. And even Rui's like, how did you know this was here? And I love he He goes, I used to love taking a lot of tours of the old railway stations that are around in the area. I'm like, you know what? At first I was like, really? This feels like Deus Ex Machia. But it makes sense. A lot of us are jacks of all trades. I know myself. I have lots of different interests. I'm doing a Digimon video. That's a Sailor Moon thing over there. This is My Hero Academia. I did a, a Spy Family thing. I have Demon Slayer stuff here. I'm also interested in drawing. I do videos. People can have multiple interests. So I'm like, you know what? Nah, I can't get mad at that. It makes sense. <clears throat> so the folks aren't going to reach them from out of here. But then, out of nowhere, special guest appearance from a Digimon that really needs to be featured in a major anime. Harrismon. Yeah, Sonic the Hedgehog in Digimon form. Harrismon. You guys remember him. He showed up from, uh, it was the Digimon, is, is it the Re-Arise game? It was one of the, they've had two phone games that they've shut down both of them. Feel bad for this character, because that's the main character's Digimon, but he really needs to be in a, in a show. Not going to go through his whole thing, because this is a special guest appearance. I, I won't do that this time around, because we still got... Two more Digimon I have to talk about. But anyway. Um, 
Harrismon goes, yeah, it's kind of weird seeing humans and Digimon hang out together. And they say, well, what are you doing? He's like, yeah, the Koto do Kukumon are all over my citadel. I'm assuming that this Harrismon lives inside of this giant department store. And um, he says, I know the way in if you're trying to get up there. So the, our other crew, the Kyo Shiro crew, you know, they make their way up. There's tons of people knocked out on their way. He opens the door. You can see the digital figure. And the other end is nothing but green. And he closes it. He breathes it in and uh, calls out fire. He's going green on both sides now. And he's like, all right, this is as far as we can take you. you know. So he asked her. He said, hey, stay put. We're going to go find your mom. We're going to, I'm going to save the, uh, you know, genius is going to save the world right now. So I promise I'm going to come back to find you. And she holds her genius doll and says, I'll be good and I'll stay here. With a quick little double click, we get our, uh, I guess it's a stone area. It kind of just was like ran like a uh, run of the mill digital area. And everybody looks around and they're like, oh, that has to be Kirishiro. They're like, where is he fighting and what is he fighting? Because usually they only do that if they're fighting something, right? They're like, we got to go catch up to him. This is why we couldn't contact him because he's been here the whole time and I guess the pollen fog has been getting in the way of it so he opens the door falls over, smacks his face and he's out of cool guy mode so getting out of cool guy mode he doesn't know what's going on and Je Tesla Jellymon's like eh, dang it, I I'm I'll just fill you in she fills him in on everything and I'm wondering to myself, could he be on the spectrum or is this just an anime quirk? Either way I'm kind of accepting it as an anime quirk. I mean, he's a kid genius that already graduated from college. They really gotta calm down with those type of geniuses. But I digress. Uh, she feel, fills him in. He freaks out. You know, there's no more time to run. And they get in front of and, and a massive Digimon goes, you ruined it. It is a Digimon that we have seen in one of my reviews before. It is Total Piamon. Yes. Actually, this should be the guy, <coughs> excuse me, that I don't do any type of reading about. But I'm going to anyway. Remember, guys, Total Piamon, first time he showed up was in the final bracelets. He is an ultimate level Digimon, so this is important. Um, His first anime appearance was Digimon Adventure 2020. Did not talk. Was not a talker. A lot of the ultimate level Digimon in that show did not talk. Guys, he was trying to. Trying to eat everybody. He's trying to eat them. And Metal uh, Greymon and Garudamon had to take his butt out. Liggity split. Uh, this is a plant Digimon that inhabits jungles. Uh, it's thought that they evolved into this gaudy appearance by taking in data of various trees and fruits. The scent, which is a mixture of all kinds of fruits, is so intense, those who are not used to it will be knocked out cold, which explains a lot. The droplets secreted from his leaves, which acts as wings, are so toxic that they can dissolve iron. His special move is dispersing a large amount of explosive poison from the petals around his neck. And as well, it's called Petal Carnage. And he also uses a move called Tropical Venom, which spews gas out of his mouth. And a po poison so potent as it matures with his body that those inhale it will melt into mush from within. That is the problem. That is what we're facing. It is That is not a joke. Because the little Dokugumon are annoying him. And even Tesla Jellymon's like, this dude's poison's on another level. You're going to melt from the inside. And Kirishu was like, what? Huh? It breathes poison on these Dokugumon. Because he's like, you know, my pollen was up trying to get rid of these things. They're annoying. They're all over him. They're literally eating on him. He spews it. We see one fall down. Blah! Threw up. I guess his insides and just dissolve into ones and zeros. Killed them from the inside. Oh no. This is this is big. So he tries to get them next. She, using parachute to disperse it doesn't work. Um, she's trying to endure because she needs the antidote or he's gonna die. He's rapidly passing out. And his most of his face is turned green. And he tells her, take care of Yuna. And he passes out. He says, I couldn't do it. Hero Shiro calls him. Hero, sorry, Hero calls him. And, you know, he's able to tap his phone on his, on his, you know, in his pocket. And he hears both Hero and Ruli. And they're asking where he is. And then he thinks about the Myotis fight. Myotis Mon fight. 
where you know Hero goes side by side with uh, Beto Gamma. He thinks about the Skull Greymon fight within the real weird dream world where Ruli was helping him up and they were fighting side by side. And he says, you know, if it were them, they wouldn't get up, give up. And he starts getting up. And I'm like, hmm? He says, I'm your senpai. I can't give up. Look, I'm no hero. And even now I want to run, but I won't give up. Not today. I'm the dorm leader. They kind of killed it for me, but I'm the dorm leader. I will protect everyone and go over every obstacle. And I'm like, yeah. He's like, that is the type of man the dorm leader is. And we get a Cho Shinka. The bracelet maxes out. She digivolves into Tetismon. And I'm happy to finally see this Digimon. Now, this is an official picture of her. Not the best. So let's go to the card game. Much better picture, right? Much better picture of this ultimate level Digimon. That's fan art. I'm not looking at fan art. Uh, much better. Just much better picture, right? Let's read about Tethysmon. An ultimate level aquatic beast man data type Digimon. Uh, as the appearance of a woman, records show that it was discovered in the deepest trenches of the Net Ocean, the birthplace of Digimon. Mm. It brings peace to its own vast territory and immediately approaches from approaches and brings down the hammer on Digimon that tumultuously disturb it. Mm. Yes. Mm. Although it shows no mercy to those who invade its territory, it is a kind Digimon. It's kind to Digimon in need of help and it likes to guide them and has a spirit that fights for the weak against the strong. It eliminates invaders with this beery smasher, those big electric fists it has. <clears throat> it uses hammer thunder where it kicks the enemy up and brings them down, still using the power of Common Rider. And uh, it, what is it? it has a move called A Do World, which is a teleport move that just eliminates the space between it and the opponent. It sounds like a JoJo stand. Wink, wink. And this other move called this is Doc Tease. It's Doku. Doku Tease. Which it produces various medicine and injects them via the tentacles. Those those large, you know, those large tentacles right there. It's more of a more of a squid than a jellyfish, right? Yeah. And it uses it to temporarily boost the power of his allies. And as for the enemies, it disintegrates them from the inside out with a deadly poison, killing them. Mm, yes. Uh, what is Tethys? Give me, if you give me one second, I can tell you what that is. It is a figure in Greek mythology with varying mythical roles. She appears as a sea nymph, a goddess of water, or one of the 50 Nereids' daughter daughters of the ancient sea god Nereus. Sea thing. First episode she shows in. Uh, she was definitely in the vital bracelets as the Jellymon root, for sure. Her ultimate. Haven't seen these guys make us yet. They're probably going to make another dim card that actually has the full line all the way through, which I kind of feel bad that they just didn't do it all the way through the first time, but got to make that money somehow. So, she, like, this thing is like, hey, you know, uh, she said, darling, I want you to know your determination is what moved me. And she sounds, she sounds adult now, right? Um, and the whole problem is that Dokugumon's whole thing is like, you got rid of my, my, my pollen. I'm going to have to take you guys out. She tries to use tropical poison. She uses a dew world. Well, he says a dew world, but she eliminates the space in his face. And... Uh, you know, she says, I'm gonna fight poison with poison, I'm gonna nullify your poison. Doku tease, not doc tease, doku tease. She's gathering power in those tentacles and then just sprays this light. Just it's it's like like it looks like pollen too. It's just spraying everywhere and it's hurting him and he's glowing, he's glowing yellow, and I'm like, Oh, he's about to, oh, he's about to be knocked out instantly. And he does faint, but he doesn't die. And I'm like, that's how you do it. Uh, she's made an antidote, injects it into uh, Kirishiro, and heals him. Uh, he calls her Tethysmon Sama. I love that it's just instant Sama. And this form deserves it indeed. All the spiders have run away into the railways. Looks like they know when they've been beaten. And even Harris looking around like, oh, so you guys are running away now. Um, 
he saw now they have a conversation and by the way the rest of the crew saw the ultimate evolution of jellyfish jellyfish mon jelly mon and now they're, they're you know they're having a conversation with toro piamon he's saying i thought you guys had got rid of my pollen on for on purpose and they're like it's actually just a coincidence um so why did you spread it across the city he's like i lost my friends and i'm trying to find them and Aaron Gordon was like, ah, use it as a signal. Okay, so this one isn't an a-hole. I like that. Duly noted. Um, <clears throat> so, where are we at here? Other Digimon, I couldn't clock what they were. But they, there's six of them. And he's like, oh, that's my, that's my friends. That's my crew. All right, I'm going to get out of here. And because uh, Gammon had pointed them out. And he's going with his crew. Kirishiro tells him, hey. Your pollen is bad for humans. Next time you find a deserted area and you do that. And he says, I gotcha. I'll remember that. So we get Tetismon goes out and she uses her Doc T's move to heal everyone. She's able to heal them on the outside of the building and the inside of the building all at once. And the first guy that sees her is that rude business guy. He was just like, a goddess? She is on the news. People taking a picture of him. They have called her a goddess. Um, ugly kid, Yuna. Her and her mom are reunited. She thanks Kiro Shiro, saying thank you so much, genius, and leaves. Um, now, again, she made the news, and Jellymon, Jellymon wants praise from Kiro Shiro. She's like, I did good. I know I made you proud, right? This dude's worn out. Like, he's just, whew, he is tired. Again, I like this, and I'll tell you why I like it, because... He went through a most most of this journey was him by himself, and I love it. Yeah, he went into overload mode twice, but I love it because he probably went into he went into cool guy mode on his own accord when he's like, the others wouldn't give up. Why am I giving up? I'm the I'm the oldest. I'm the senpai. But uh, uh, Jellymon goes, you know, I'll let really I'll let you put a picture of me up on uh Lily Run her little website. And then we get in Gorman's little thing. He says, the arrogant jellyfish is sometimes a goddess. All's right with the world. Could have said all is right. Just, just saying. And uh, she's cheek to cheek with Kirishiro. She's smiling. He's smiling. Dude is worn out. Next time people are turning into dolls. This episode gets a straight up 5 out of 5 from me. Why does it get a 5 out of 5 from me? Because it is amazing. This was good. This is, I want, in all honesty, Rudy should have had this happen to her first. Like, the whole uh, egg Digitama Mon thing. That would have been motivation for uh, and Gormon to be like, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta wild out. Or as the kids are saying now, they gotta morb. I gotta morb, guys. I hate saying that. Can't believe I said that in the video. And he's trying. He's like, I gotta do this. I would. That would have made sense for him. But I guess he's gonna be the last one, and it's it's fine. He was the last one getting his champion form. He's a slow grower. It's not the coolest. He is fluffy though. But this episode gets five out of five. It's exactly what I was looking for. Thank you. Personal episodes almost feels like here. Shira was almost cheated, but his Digimon can turn into. Four different champion forms, and all those champion forms, well, three of those champion forms can all go into Cano Weissmon, so he can't complain at all. Good episode. I I'm hoping episode 30 is going to be just like this. And then we'll probably, hopefully, get some actual story after episode 30, because who knows? Now they can actually take care of themselves with ultimates, and you all know what happens after ultimates. We'll probably get a good 10 to 15. 10 to 11 episodes of Ultimates again, and we're going to start getting those megas. Mm -mm -mm. But let me know what you thought of the episode in the comment section down below. Please do not forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be notified of more videos just like this. It's a good day when I'm happy about Digimon Ghost Game. Please be good, be blessed. Thank you for taking some time out to spend some time with me. Be safe out there, you all. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. Either way it goes, don't be a jerk. Wear your mask. If you if you get, just wear your mask and just be safe, all right? I just want everybody to be safe. It's a crazy world out there, but you can do your part to make it less crazy. As always, I will most definitely see you guys next time.